Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome to my social media channels. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, um, here's a news update about me. First things first, now I were what's called hired as a call center agent on PXI. And then I was on training for two months two to three months i was on training and my lob is comcast line of business it's about phone oh no no yeah it's about phone and Dear, dear, where? And my tier is tier one and tier two in Xfinity Mobile. Only mobile. I mean mobile care. First in tier one is sales. Second is basic troubleshooting, and third troubleshooting, the hardcore part about device like there is no signal there's no internet um what else they can connect to hotspots they connect they can connect to data and second tier is device account activation network issues and porting tier three i am not part of it which is fraud, LNP, retail, SWAT, help desk, escalation, and influencer. Okay, let's talk about this. As working on Xfinity Mobile, I could admit that the business is good. The promotion, the deals, discount, savings is good, in my opinion. What I could say is, some customers just didn't know much about it and the second part is that some call center agent from other department or company some of them didn't educate the customer well about what's the terms and agreements what they're going through and the second part is some agents giving wrong information to their customers and the third part is Yep, some agents just deceive the customers in order to get sales. And what sales means in my position, and that is if you add a line, let's say you bought another phone, that's not part of the sales on my position. But if you add a line like by the gig, 1 gig, 3 gig, 10 gig, or unlimited intro, unlimited data that's a sale if you add a line in your account the sale to us okay let's move out to the nesting phase about nesting phase i just didn't pass it the kpi on nesting phase let me check it okay the kpi on nesting is one survey two sales five audits and what else one satisfied survey okay here's what happened first of all the goal is the call should be finished in 15 minutes and the hold calls should be two minutes if it's a ghost call we have to warn the customer two to three times before we drop the call and if the customer threatening us or using abusive language what we're gonna do is okay what what we're gonna do is that <clears throat> i forgot the glass i i just served my mother okay um again where are we yep and the, about the threatening and second part threatening and profanity if the customer is using profanity and threatening us we could warn the customer two to three times before we drop the call. And what else? Yep, about the 
nesting phase, I didn't pass it. We were extended two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. And here's my score. About the sales, originally I got four sales from non paces account. We cannot the we cannot recover the account, but to add another line, but it's the four devices, then that's it. We got sales. And the fifth sale is that it's is it it was my trainer who took over the call and managed the call and manipulate the call in order to get sales. Like here's the here's the story. The customer returned the device to what's called mm, I forgot what's company called for the repairment. It starts with V. Variant. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> 